If you are planning to visit Indonesia anytime soon, then this short video will definitely help you out and it is pretty important because since 2020, the Indonesian government have started a ban on all sorts of foreign telecommunication devices. Now these includes uh, mobile phones, tablets as well as laptops that has an IMEI number. So anything that has an IMEI number will be blocked in Indonesia. You need to know the rules so that your telecommunication device does not get blocked while you're in Indonesia. The rules are actually pretty complicated and we are trying our level best to simplify it for you. So first things first, the rule only applies if you are planning to be using your telecommunication device, be it a phone or a tablet in Indonesia using an Indonesian SIM card. If you are planning to do an international roaming, then you will have no issues. You can give us a like, you can click subscribe, you can provide a comment and you can close this video, you're done. No issues, no problem whatsoever if you are using international roaming. If you cannot afford international roaming just like me because international roaming is expensive, then we can discuss the second rule. The second rule is that are you planning to stay in Indonesia for more than 90 days or less? than 90 days. If you're planning to stay in Indonesia for less than 90 days, then you have no issues. You have no problem. You can just use your phone. You can exit the airport. You don't need to register anywhere. No need to go to the customs. No need to give your IMEI number. You can just go like how you normally would exit the airport and then you can find uh, these shops selling the phone operators mobile cards, prepaid mobile cards. You can buy either a Telkom cell, a uh, Pro Excel. You can buy Indosat. You won't have any issues. You provide them your passport. They will register it for you. The pricing of this, these cards should be around 200 to 300,000 rupiah. You can buy it and your phone will be working within a few hours. If you want to get them cheaper as well, you can do so by checking the links in the description. We have found one of the suppliers that provides a cheaper card. The main idea is if you are staying less than 90 days, you have no issues whatsoever. Your phone will be working fine with any of these numbers. Now the problem starts if you are planning to stay in Indonesia for more than 90 days. Now this happens maybe if you are working in Indonesia or whether that you bought a phone from Singapore, you bought a phone from Dubai, you bought a phone from India, you bought a phone from abroad and you are coming back to Indonesia with that foreign phone. Now this is where things get problematic. If you are planning to stay for more than 90 days, you need to register your phone in the customs. Now, once you enter uh, Indonesia, once you land, either in Jakarta, Bali, Surabaya, Medan, wherever it is, once you land from abroad, you will go through customs. Now, in the customs, they have a new form called the ECD, the Electronic Customs Declaration Form or something like that. Now, you need to register your phone, your phone model and the IMEI in that customs form. After filling the customs form, you need to go to a special line for the customs to register your IMEI and your phone. Now, if you cannot find that line, that specific line just to register the phone, you better go ask somebody while you are still inside the airport. Well, this may vary from airport to airport, but from our experience is that it gets very difficult once you exit the airport, once you pass through the customs, once you pass through everything, you collect your bag and you go out, it gets very difficult for you to go back to register your phone again. Because if you do not register your phone, then after 90 days, your phone will stop getting any signal. It will just poof, it will just stop getting any signal. You will not get any signal in Indonesia using an Indonesian SIM card. It might be connecting to another phone and the other phone might be having a signal, but in your specific device, either phone or tablet, it will not catch any signal. Registration is free if your phone value is below $500 and if you register during your time of arrival. If you do not register at the time of arrival, then you will be taxed to use uh, your phone or your tablet in Indonesia. You need to pay a special tax to unlock your phone and your tablet so that it can work using an Indonesian SIM card in Indonesian airspace. Now, what if your phone is above $500? Let's assume you have a phone which has $800 of value. Now, you buy a phone of $800 and once you land in Indonesia, the $500 is free. Now, you just have to pay the tax for the extra $300. Now, the $300, you need to pay a tax of approximately 30 to 35%. So you will have to pay around 90 to $100 extra 
as tax to be able to use your phone in Indonesia after 90 days. The first 90 days is free. You don't need to pay. But if you're staying for more than 90 days, then you need to register your phone. I know this might sound crazy, but the Indonesian government is preventing the local Indonesians from buying their phones from Singapore, from buying their phones from Malaysia, even if it might just be slightly cheaper. By buying the phones from Singapore or Malaysia or buying the phone from foreign, they are not contributing to the sales tax in Indonesia. And this has been going on for quite a bit, number of years. So now currently the Indonesian government is trying to prevent that. Now here's another important thing. Do not try to avoid paying the registration fees. Do not try to avoid paying the tax. Do not think that, oh, you know what? I'll go back to the city. I'll meet my friend. I'll meet my family. Somebody must be knowing how to get around this system. This is a ridiculous system. I can do it this way. I can go to Manga Dua. I can go to Harko. I can do so many things. It doesn't work. The registration is done by the telecommunications department. It does not work. Like you go to any shop in Manga Dua, you go to any shop in any mall or any hacker. It doesn't work. It needs to be hacked. You need to be able to hack the government's website to be able to bypass the security. And you do not want to do that because the moment you leave the airport and you do not pay the tax, your $800 phone, you will need to pay tax of $800. There is no longer the $500 discount because the $500 discount is only valid at the time of arrival. So the moment you land, that's when you need to register your phone and pay that extra tax. If you do not pay the tax and you avoid paying the tax on that day, then you have to pay the full amount. There won't be any $500 discount. Now, what should you do? Advice is pretty simple. If you haven't bought a phone and you're planning to start a new life in Indonesia, do not buy a phone in your home country. Buy the phone directly in Indonesia. We'll be providing a link in our description box with an authorized online seller e-commerce marketplace that provides the best price. It's official. They can deliver the phone even on the same day directly to wherever you're staying. We'll be providing the link to that shop down below. If you haven't bought a phone abroad, better buy the phone in Indonesia because you can avoid that 30% extra tax. Now, what should you do if you already bought a phone abroad and you're planning to start a new life or you're planning to be working in Indonesia and your phone is pretty costly, maybe a thousand dollar plus, then you have no options, brother. You have to pay the 30 to 35% tax or you have to buy a new phone and you can use that phone just as a Wi-Fi phone. See, the phone will work. You can get Wi-Fi, you can use your WhatsApp, you can browse as long as there is Wi-Fi connectivity. It's just that it won't catch any signal. That's the only problem. So that's more or less how the situation is if you're planning to bring a new phone to Indonesia. So we have also shown you how you can buy a new SIM card in Jakarta. You can view the video right here. And we also have some exciting tips on how to sleep in your next flight if you're planning to visit Jakarta anytime soon. You can view it right here. This is Raja from Adira Travels and we do hope that this video helped you out. Stay safe, keep smiling and see you next time. Bye-bye.